Good day, my dear grade 7 students. I'm Teacher Will. Come and join me. Let's explore the wonderful arts and crafts of Luzon. Are you guys ready? Let's go! It's more fun in MAPE! The islands of Luzon have a vast collection of arts and crafts. Can you tell whether the following arts and crafts are from Luzon? Can you tell where this art came from? Time's up! This one is from Luzon. How about this one? Time's up! Did you say Luzon? You are correct! Is this one familiar? Is this from Luzon? The answer is no. This is from Mindanao. How about this one? What is your answer? Time's up! If you answered Luzon, you are correct. Last photo. Do you think this is from Luzon? Time's up! The right answer is yes. This is also from Luzon. The elements and principles of art and design are the foundation of any artwork. Please notice how people from Luzon use those elements and principles in their arts and crafts. Do you know who is the woman on the picture? In what particular province do you think she come from? What is the form of art does she do? This is Apo Huang Od from Kalinga in Cordillera. She is considered the last Mamba Bato, the art of tattooing. Tattoo art is one of the well-known art forms in Highland of Luzon, particularly in the Cordillera Administrative Region. Arts and crafts are important means of expression, which communicate views, ideas, and feelings through the use of skills and imagination. These are important parts of our daily lives and can be found everywhere. Arts and Crafts of Luzon Highlands and Lowlands Arts and Crafts of Ilocos Region and Cordillera Administrative Region Vegan Considered as the Intramuros of the North, retains the Spanish colonial architecture along its narrow and cobblestone streets as Calle Crisologo. Inabel is a hand-weaving technique of the Ilocanos that is produced using traditional wooden looms. The Inabel designs are inspired by natural elements, pattern that depict different landforms, the color of flowers and vegetation, plaid zigzags, animal patterns, and the ocean waves. Burnai is an unglazed earthen jar with small opening. It is used for storage of water and rice grains and as container for salt, brown sugar, basi or local wine, and bagoong or fermented fish. The potters mix fine gravel, sand, and ashes and fire the clay to make the burnai heavy and sturdy. Ilocos Region, Pangasinan Weaving The arts and crafts of Pangasinan include smoothly woven bolinao mats made from buri and raffia leaves, and the bamboo crafts, or basket furniture of San Carlos. Cordillera Administrative Region Kalinga The southern Kalinga women wear the wrap-around skirt or tapis called kain, which reaches below the knee. It is characterized by red stripes and white, yellow, and black geometrical patterns. The northern Kalinga wear saya, an ordinary women's skirt covering the body from waist to feet. The colors used in their textile have cultural meanings. Red signifies bravery, black is for the soil or land, white is for the flowers of the coffee trees, yellow for the sand, and green for the mountains. The basketry of Kalinga shows their craftsmanship. 
The laba is a bowl-shaped basket made from rattan with sizes that vary from 20 to 150 centimeters in diameter. Tattooing is another form of art in Kalinga. It may serve as part of clothing, decoration, signifies a rite of passage from youth to adulthood, mark heroism, bravery, and status in the community. Apo Wang Od, born on February 17, 1917, also known as Maria Ogay, is a Filipino tattoo artist from Buscalan, Tinglayan, Kalinga, Philippines. She is often described as the last and the oldest Mambabato, or traditional Kalinga tattooist, and is part of the Butbut people of the larger Kalinga ethnic group. She has been tattooing headhunters and women of the indigenous people of Butbut in Buscalan, Kalinga since she was 15 years old. But the Butbut warriors who used to earn tattoos through protecting villages or killing enemies no longer exist. Despite that, Wang Od continues to apply her traditional art form to tourists visiting Buscalan. The National Commission for Culture and the Arts or NCCA confirmed on Wang Od the prestigious Dangal ng Haraya Award at Tabu, the capital of Wang Od's ethnic province of Kalinga, in 2018. She was nominated for the National Living Treasures Award or Gawad Manlilikha ng Bayan in 2017. Her nomination is still being processed by the NCCA. The Bulul is a wooden sculpture that represents the rice granary spirits. It is used as rituals that are performed to call the ancestors to protect their rice fields from pestilence and to ask for an abundant harvest. This is usually made of Nara, which signifies wealth, happiness, and well-being of the Ifugao. The amulets of the Ifugao are called Lingling O or Dinumu. These are made from jade, gold, copper, bronze, stone, and other materials. These are fertility symbols worn around the neck. Mountain Province The people of Bontok are also skilled weavers. They weave different textiles from blankets to clothing. Wanes It is a men's traditional attire. Lufit Short and narrow wrap around skirt used by women. Married women wear a type of belt called Ginas Palawanes. The native of Bontok create their textile patterns through the ikat, a weaving method. It is a process of tying and dyeing the threads to prepare the patterns before they are woven into textile. The province is also known for their burial cloth, kadangyan, woven by female elders. Abra The Tingians weave textile for clothes and blankets. They are noted for their white textile with horizontal stripes found in the edges, like those in the bancudo or wrapped around skirt, or vertical stripes in the center, like those found in the balwasi or female blouse. Arts and Crafts of Cagayan Valley and Central Luzon Cagayan Valley Batanes The Ibatans are the people living in the Batanes group of islands. Their houses have unique architectural forms made up of limestone walls, reeds, and drogon roofs. Vakul is a headgear used by Ivatan women to protect them from the heat of the sun and the rains. The men, on the other hand, wear soot, a rain cape from fronts that covers the upper part of the body down from the neck. This special clothing is made up of wooden fiber of the Vuyavoy palm, a plant similar to coconut. Isabella Isabela is one of the largest provinces in the Philippines, located in Cagayan Valley region. Tumawini Church is a Roman Catholic parish church of San Matias Apostol. This Baroque church was built in 1873 and can be found in the municipality of Tumawini, Isabela. It is made from red bricks ornamented with carvings of flowers, leaves, scallops, saints, religious symbols, and other fanciful motifs. The unique cylindrical belfry of the church looks like a huge wedding cake because of its design motifs like laces, hearts, and beads. Nueva Vizcaya Nueva Vizcaya is located near Ifugao, Benguet, and Quirino. The gadangs of Nueva Vizcaya are known for their crafts and textiles. One of the clothes they make is the bakwat, a belt used by mothers after giving birth. 
This cloth is usually adorned on central portion with white beads and accents embellished in patterns that represents rivers and mountains. Bulacan Bulacan is the culture capital of the Philippines, according to Inquirer.net. One of the evidences is the Baraswain Church, a historical architecture considered as the birthplace of the first constitutional democracy in Asia. But there's so much more about the place Bulacan. Among these are the Baliwag Buntal Hat, Mekawayan Gold Filigree, Singkaban, Pastillas Wrapper, and Firecrackers of Bukawe. Pabalat, adorned with different linear, curvilinear, and geometric designs that depict local floras and scenes of everyday rural life. Singkaban is the local term for bamboo arches designed with kayas or wood shavings. The province of Bulacan is known for the following industries, marble and marbleized limestones, jewelry, pyrotechnics, leather craft, aquaculture, meat and meat products, garments, furniture, high-value crops, and sweets and native delicacies. Pampanga Pampanga is known for its giant lanterns or parol. Its special feature is its dancing lights in several shapes and colors that form intricate geometric patterns. Famous architectural landmarks in Olongapo, Zambales, Nueva Ecija, and Bataan. The Subic Spanish Gate Located at the corner of Dewey Avenue and Samson Road in the city of Olongapo, Zambales Province, Philippines, was built in 1885 when the Spanish Navy authorized the construction of the Arsenal de Olongapo. After King Alfonso II of Spain issued a royal decree declaring Subic Bay as a naval port in 1884. The gate served as the west gate of the arsenal and faced the Spanish-era settlement of Olongapo. A high wall of locally quarried stone connected it to the south gate that faced the waterfront. In addition to being used as main entrance and exit to the naval station, the gate was also used as jail during both the Spanish and American occupation. The San Andres Apostol Parish Church, Simbahan ng Parokya ni San Andres Apostol, Iglesia Parokyal de San Andres Apostol, popularly known as Masinloc Church, is a 19th century Baroque church located at Parangay South Poblacion, Masinloc, Zambales, Philippines. It was founded by the Augustinian Recollects in 1607. The church structure, a standout among Spanish-era churches in the Central Luzon region for having been built with coral stones instead of adobe stones, was declared a national cultural treasure by the National Museum of the Philippines along with 25 other Spanish-era churches in 2001. The front of the church is divided into the triangular pediment. The second level has rectangular windows and curved niches of the patron saints. Carvings of the medallion and other geometric shapes can be found on the pediment. The belfry is composed of circular columns topped by a lantern and cross. Three Kings Parish is a shrine in Gapan City in the Philippines that was founded in 1589. It is one of the oldest Roman Catholic churches in the country and the oldest and biggest colonial church in Nueva Ecija. There is a mural of Holy Trinity on the ceiling all which are characteristics of a Western architecture. Abukay Church or the St. Dominic de Guzman Parish Church, established in 1587 and administered in 1588 by the Dominicans, is an example of Renaissance architecture because of its vertically single or double divided columns, a triangular pediment. It has a five-layer bell tower ornamented with semicircular arched windows. They used brick, sand, stone, gravel, cement, steel, and concrete. Arts and Crafts of Calabarzon and Bicol Region Laguna Paete, one of the towns in Laguna, is famous for its wood carving and is considered as the wood carving capital of the Philippines. The local term for carving is ukit. Paete carvers usually produce wooden religious images and wood panels with decorative flower patterns and florid geometric designs. Rizal Province Angono in Rizal Province is considered as the art capital of the Philippines because of the town's rich and artistic expressions that include music, painting, sculptures, and folk arts. 
The town is known for its gigantes. The gigantes are big paper mache figures of humans that represent farmers and fishermen. The earliest known gigantes are composed of father, mother, and a child measuring between 7 to 10 feet. These are traditionally paraded on the 22nd and 23rd of November in Angono during the Gigantes Festival that coincide with the town fiesta. Batangas Taal Batangas is famous for producing embroidered piña fabric made from fibers of pineapple and woven costly fabric. These are used for piña barong, wedding gowns, and other formal attires. The burda, called calado, is painstakingly made by three groups of people, the designer, the embroiderer, and the cutter. The balisong is also known as the butterfly knife. Batangas is considered as the balisong capital of the Philippines. Batangueño blacksmiths have gained such renown for the quality of their workmanship that Hollywood producers employ them to create props for big-budget films. The balisong was commonly used by Filipinos, especially those in the Tagalog region, as a self-defense and pocket utility knife. Quezon The town of Lukban is famous for the Pahiyas Festival, celebrated on the 15th of May in honor of San Isidro Labrador, the patron saint of farmers. During the festival, the townspeople decorate their houses with products and colorful thin rice wafers called keeping. The keeping is made from ground glutinous rice that is thinly coated on mature leaves and steamed over the low fire. Bicol Region Among the arts and crafts of the Bicol Region include baskets, bags, slippers, coin purse, and other crafts that are made from abaca and raffia fibers. The abundance of these natural fibers in the region allowed Bicolanos to excel in weaving. Give the corresponding name and place of origin of the following arts and crafts from Luzon. Time's up! The answer is Burnay. The place of origin is Ilocos. Time's up! The correct answer is Bakul. The place of origin is Batanes. Time's up! The answer is Bulul. The place of origin is Ifugao. Time's up! The answer is Lingling O. The place of origin is Ifugao. The answer is Bakwat. The place of origin is Nueva Vizcaya. It is a wrapped around skirt worn by Kalinga women. Time's up! The answer is Kain. It is a local term for bamboo arches designed with kayas. The answer is Singkaban, a thin rice wafer made from glutinous rice. Time's up! The answer is Keeping. It is also known as butterfly knife in Batangas. Time's up! The answer is Balisong. A big paper mache figures of humans that represent farmers and fishermen. Time's up! The answer is Gigantes. It is a cylindrical bell fry of church looks like a huge wedding cake. Time's up! The answer is Tamawini Church. It is the gate served as the west gate of the arsenal and faced the Spanish era settlement of Olongapo. Time's up! The answer is Subic Spanish Gate. 
It is a belt used by mothers after giving birth in Nueva Vizcaya. The answer is Bakwat. It is a wooden sculpture that represents the rice granary spirits. Time's up. The answer is Bulul. It is a hand weaving technique of the Ilocanos that is produced using traditional wooden looms. Time's up. The answer is in a bell. Answer the following. It is a belt made by the Gadangs. Mothers wear it after giving birth. Time's up. A headgear used by the women of Batanes. A sculpture of human figure that represents the ancestor spirits of the Ifugao. Time's up. It is a rain cape worn by Ivatan men. Time's up. It is a clay jar from Ilocos. It is an amulet worn around the neck used as fertility symbol of Ifugaos. Time's up. It is a local term for bamboo arches designed with kayas in Bulacan. Time's up. It is a colorful decor traditionally used during the pahiyas. It is a wrapped around skirt or tapis worn by Southern Kalinga women. Time's up. It is a big paper mache human figures such as farmers and fishermen of Angono Rizal. Time's up. These locally produced looms are well known in Ilocos region that represents the waves of the sea. The artwork from Kalinga that is considered as clothing and decorations which consists of geometric patterns and lines. Time's up. Is a sculpture of human figure that is made out of wood that represents the ancestor spirits of the Ifugaos. It is known for its giant lanterns with colorful lights and different furniture that inhibits their culture and traditions. Time's up. The Balisong and Barong capital of the Philippines that gained such renown from the quality of their workmanship. For additional activities, please refer to your module. That's it guys! I hope you enjoy our lesson for today about the arts and crafts of Luzon. Have a nice day everyone! And always remember, it's more fun in MAPE!